Now, in the run-up to the municipal elections, political parties are scrambling for Madiba magic to amass votes. Is it about comparison of manifestos or what parties do to achieve the values and ambitions of what Nelson Mandela stood for? Some political parties selectively quote Mandela for their political gains. And on the debate this evening, we want to know who does Mandela belong to? And shouldn't Mandela be above politics? You must welcome to give us a call on 11 or you can tweet it's at ANN7TV. Joining us is Rifuel Ntsege. She is the DA national spokesperson. Tim Nkosi Josopu is the ANC MEC member or Youth League rather. And we have Professor Shadra Gucho, constitutional law expert. Always wonderful having you. I'm not even sure to say congratulations just for the cinematography of uh, the advertisement itself. But of course, it's uh, created quite a bit of a debate. Professor Gucho, let's just see what is at uh, stake here, le legally speaking, with the, the, the DA's advert using Majiba's voice? I think here we have a mixture of the legal and the political. To start with, to say that you remove Madiba ever from politics, is, uh, it will never happen because Madiba was politics by his own living nature, reputation, and uh, he was president of the Republic of South Africa, the first democratically elected president. The question is whether the message that is being contested here was made in his capacity when he was president, or did they make it in a private NC you know, political party meeting. Uh, so that will be an issue that needs to be looked at. Because if he made it as president of South Africa, you can't tell any political party not to be able to use it. Um, I think that is where the problem is. But Mandela is bigger than just being ANC, being South African. Mandela is global. And we will get to that as we debate. All right, let's bring yeah. uh, Tim Nkosi here, who is uh, nodding and disagreeing. I think there's one of those that are not very clear cut in defining who belongs or Mandela, uh, who he belongs to. But uh, Tim Nkosi, just your reaction to the advert and uh, why, why your um, disregard or rather uh, your apprehension around it? No, first and foremost, I think that the submission we want to make as the Youth League is that. President Mandela did not become a world icon just out of the blue. It is the ANC that made him. He led the Youth League, he led the ANC. Uh, without him having, part, having been part of the ANC, probably he would not have been profiled and get a profile that he has today. So the ANC, it is the ANC that has made my team. Actually, he even himself said so that uh, the, the first thing he will do when he gets to heaven, if uh, there is there is heaven out there, <laughs> He will find a branch of the ANC. That on its own is a confirmation that indeed Madiba acknowledges that he is who he was on the basis of the ANC. But yeah. lastly, as the youth the submission that we want to, to make and agree slightly with Prof, that you can't divorce Madiba from politics. You will know that the statement that Madiba made in 1956 when the state owned banks, national stadium mines, even confirmed it in his, in his first public address in 1990, of which the DA does not believe. In nationalization, they don't believe in a state-owned bank, they don't believe in free education. So therefore, they can't be associated with Mandela. You must associate Mandela on the basis of the ideals that he, uh, he held. They don't believe in a freedom charter. Yeah, what was the litmus test here of, of supporting Mandela or espousing what Mandela stood for? Because as Tim Ngozi is saying, that you are selective in your quote of Nelson Mandela, what he stood for. He also was uh, against injustice, inequality, and uh, uh, the redistribution of wealth in, in this nation. I think we have never said we, we, we are against the redistribution of wealth in South Africa. It's the how that the DA has been talking about. And let me take you back to the 50s. If you remember, Helen Sussman actually went to visit Nelson Mandela in Roman Island to say to him, 
you know what, I'm in support with what you're doing. I'm fighting against the system that you are also fighting against. We even have a letter that Lancel Mandela wrote to Helen Susman thanking her for her bravery in coming to Robben Island to visit him. So why don't you use her then as your, as your credentials? She was not the first elected democratic president of South Africa. And if you look at the vision that Nelson Mandela set out, the DA believes that we are the only party that actually embraces that and will be able to translate that into a reality for South Africans. Yeah, but I think we're really just talking semantics, especially when it comes to equality and, you know, uh, um, BE and affirmative action and what the DA has to say. But that's not that kind of debate. We're talking about the ownership of Nelson Mandela. Let's get into uh, what could have possibly been a transgression or is it really a thin line where the DA is bordering here on using Nelson Mandela and it's in his capacity as ANC president by virtue of the colors and the ANC being uh, presented in the advertisement. So I don't think necessarily that the boardroom decision was to use Mandela as the president of the country. It certainly doesn't come across as such. Well, it doesn't come out as that. I, I do agree with that. But that does not mean that Mandela was not the president of the republic. And really, his philosophy of reconciliation, which brought the oppressor and the oppressed together to try and build a new nation, is important. Whether you regard the DA as having come from the oppressors, but it has transformed over time whether we like it or not. And I think that it's very important for us not to go back to say things are the same as before 1994. We have moved forward in the last 22 years. And I, I think that Mandela represented that and pushed it through. There are many, even within the ANC, who are blaming Nelson Mandela for saying he compromised too much he brought in the oppressor and the oppressed together to try and build a new nation mm. and nothing seems to be happening. The question is, of the parties that are there now, uh, that are fighting for elections and so on, which one really has the vision and mission of Mandela to build a new nation, which means you transform but you remain the same? I don't think the ANC... Uh, or the DA can claim to have exclusive territory in that area. Uh, we have other new political parties like the EFF that actually says uh, the Freedom Charter uh, is also being fought over. And uh, it wasn't a Mandela thing. It was something which evolved within a broader perspective of struggles in South Africa. So South Africa's politics is more complicated then we really want to simplify it to say Mandela, therefore we are. Mm. Yeah, I don't blame the ANC for trying to claim him. I don't blame the DA for trying to claim him. I don't, you know, blame the EFF for trying to claim uh, him and, and so on. So I don't think it is Mandela doesn't belong to any one political party. Parties do not own people. All right, Professor. And ideas. All right, let's get uh, yeah. Abba Tembo King as uh, spokesperson, and that's Chief Mfundo Buvelengwe. Thank you so much uh, for joining us, uh, uh, Chief. Um, just uh, your reaction to the DA's claim to Mandela in this particular election advertisement. What, what are your sentiments around it? <coughs> Firstly, Mandela belongs to a family. Whatever you're going to do, with Mandela's name, you have to request a right from the family. Uh, I don't hear DA saying that we vote to Mandela Children's Fund or Mandela Foundation and request uh, that we're going to use this name. Secondly, I agree Mandela is a national figure and international figure, but Mandela was never a member of the DA. Mandela was never believes what DA is believing. And, <clears throat> and DA is having an opportunity of rolling in Cape Town. He's not doing what he's saying. So, 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 so you cannot associate Matiba with that kind of leadership. And, and Mandela is resting. Uh, you don't have to drag him to politics. All right, let's allow the DA to respond as this question is uh, watering down the image of Nelson Mandela. 
I think it's important that um, South Africans take the advert in its context and view it tonight, actually, because it will be flighting on SABC, SABC 1 at 8 o'clock. You must remember, it's a story of a lady going to vote and how she is then in the voting booth making a decision on whether to vote. And how the ad is played out is that she then plays out in her mind what Man Nelson Mandela's words were, and then she makes a decision to vote for the DA. Should so the family be afforded common courtesy to at least say, look, we're going to use our I think the reality is if you've got a family member who's an inter is not even a national icon, he's an international icon. By that, he was a state president, and state being the operative word here because he's a public figure that has said, I take an oath to be the president of the republic. By saying you become the president, you're not the president of some people and not others. You're the president of all South Africans. All right, let's allow Tim Nkosi to respond. No, thank you very much. Look, I think uh, we, need to, <clears throat> we need to demystify the, 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 the temptation of wanting to take Mandela out of a collective. <clears throat> if what a fellow wants, it's trying to be technical, uh, by saying no, no, uh, President Mandela is an internal icon and you divorce him. But remember, in the country we are using what we call your proportional representation system of elections. President Mandela did not contest elections in 94. It was the ANC. It is the ANC that submitted President Mandela to become the president of the country. And Mandela ran his administration on the basis of the ideals of the ANC and what the ANC stands for. Therefore, separating Mandela from the ANC, it can't be there. Because Mandela was forwarded by the ANC, and he were, even, the, even the concept that the, that the prophet speaking about of reconciliation, it was not his own individual a kind of a view. It was the view of the ANC. So we can't take Mandela out of the ANC. All right, he stood for the view of, of the ANC. Yes, in terms of the, the legal process, though, can the IEC, uh, or is there an editorial, electoral uh, code of conduct that was breached in this particular advertisement? No, I don't know of the... Uh, elections code of conduct in the country and it does not at all. It has not been breached and uh, I don't think that it will prevent the DA from using or any other political party from using Nelson Mandela as so it is outside of the code of conduct for elections which the Independent Electoral Commission develops. And I think that it is also important uh, here to be able to say Nelson Mandela was not just Mandela as a person. When Mandela was in prison, who promoted Mandela's name globally? It was Winnie Madikizela Mandela. And so Mandela's name is not just one person. It is a symbol of the nation of the struggle against apartheid and oppression and colonialism. And I think that that is important to be understood. And the ANC is trying to be nationalistic in a narrow way of really trying to say this is our property. Even the Mandela family has a limit to which it can own Mandela. Of course, we do have uh, at the moment, those of us who drink some wine, we do have Mandela House wine, mm -hmm. beautiful wine, made by part of the family that established a business in that area. You can't prevent them from doing that because they own the, the name, but that does not mean that the name, Mane, the name and reputation is of the family of the ANC, of South Africa, you go globally. You go to Addis Ababa today, uh, Mandela Hall is the main plenary hall at the African Union in, in, in Addis Ababa. Do you want to tell them, don't have Mandela there because it belongs to us and so on? You go to many parts of the world. All right, Professor, let's take Tabo and Madrand, who's been patiently uh, holding on the line. Hi, Tabo. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. How are you? What's your question I'm or comment? Mm. I just want to, uh, to comment. Uh, yes, sir. About this Mandela thing. You know, most of the people are coming from uh, ANC. I'm not an ANC member. But I do believe uh, in what Mandela did. And I also like to say, uh, DA is right. There's nothing wrong to use the uh, name of Mandela. 
because most of the DA or EFF members, they are coming from uh, 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 ANC. And not a, uh, ANC, all, uh, I mean, uh, all the members of DA and EF, they are coming there and they also fight the struggle. So they believe in Mandela, but not in uh, the correct uh, leadership. So that is why they can use that name. I believe there is nothing wrong with that. All right. All right, Tabo, I appreciate it. I just want to get to Chief Mbobelengwe. Uh, in terms of what the family, the recourse that they have, as Professor Guto was saying, that Nelson Mandela being an international icon, revered the world over with many uh, symbols or monuments named after him, that it's very difficult to control or manage the trademark of Nelson Mandela. Is there anything that the family intends to do? Uh, and and what, what exactly is your recourse? Uh, uh, uh. We appreciate that, and and we appreciate that. We are happy that Matiba is an international icon, <laughs> and we are happy for the support that is getting throughout the world. That's why we are saying, if you bring him into party politics, and yet he is not alive, you you are getting that name. That's why we are saying, please, DA must 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 stop using that. For campaigning for party politics. If you were using the name on, on campaigning for AIDS, for anything, we don't have a problem with that. So are you saying that it's misleading when the DA is using Nelson Mandela because by, by virtue of that they're then suggesting that uh, the ANC somehow have become anti-Nelson Mandela? Rafila, maybe you should answer that. I think... Um, but, but, but you, the, you must understand go, that... Tricks. All right. You must understand that uh, you cannot divorce Mandela from the ANC. Mandela has been crowned by the African National Congress. That's why, uh, as the family, we believe if he can vote in heaven, he will vote for the African National Congress. So we cannot allow the opposition party to use him. All right, then let's just give Trefilo uh, a, a, a chance to respond. I think, to be honest, if we look at South Africa today and the aspirations of dreams of what Nelson Mandela stood for, ANC has actually let Nelson Mandela down. If you looked at what his plans and he, the vision that he had for South Africa, reconciliation and non-racial South Africa, the economy growing, South Africa becoming a prosperous country today, we are nowhere near where that this country was supposed to be. And we believe as the DA, the reason, one of the reasons we put... Mandela's voice over is to remind people that we as the DA actually believe that South Africa has a better chance to achieve its potential through the Democratic Alliance. Rafilo, can I just ask you that though, it, it very much seems that the status quo still re remains where the DA uh, it is governing in the sense that why is it in Constantia there isn't low income developments, uh, you know, high density developments or in Hout Bay, uh, all these affluent still privileged or white areas do not have that integration of low-income families being included in there, as you would see in Cosmo City and other places, just okay. as an Let's example. Let's talk about South Africa at, at whole. It's interesting how South Africans seem to pick on Cape Town and how people want development in affluent areas. I don't see an informal settlement in Santon City in Johannesburg where the ANC is in government today. However, let's look at the stats that Ndadil Hosha released recently that talk to the improvement of life in South Africa. If you take the, take the best performing province right now, it is the Western Cape. If you take Cape Town, 90, almost 98% support, seconded by Gauteng of water piped to informal settlements and people being uplifted. Mm. It's actually DA-led government. Yeah, so Constantine is not a city. I no, just no, want to no. say, within four I'm ways, we're not Cosmo similar, City. Similar, and, and I gave you an a example. A similar affluent area to, you talked about uh, an affluent city in Cape Town, and I'm taking a similar example of an affluent city in Gauteng, which is Johannesburg, Santon, that you don't have RDP houses in the middle of Santon. No, you do have Cosmo City. I just gave you that Not example. In but I don't want to labor the point. Have them in it, it, it's fine, but I'm just because saying those are the values. Apples to apples. Refiler, those are the values yeah, no, that Nelson Mandela espoused, that there needs Correct. to be an integration but of people. But at the people, same time, if you look income at the of houses, Cape Town is actually the best in terms of delivering of houses. Okay. All right, again, let's come to the advert. as the not speak, not opinions. Yeah. yeah, okay, the ANC Youth League. Is there anything that you're going to do in particular? I know had it been the DA, they would have gone to the Constitutional Court by now. 
you know, <coughs> as, the, as the NCU clique, we respect the family. Uh, despite the fact that Matiba was a member of the ANC, before he became the member of the ANC, he's coming from a family. So in this process, we want to allow the family to handle the matter. Ours is just to protect Matiba's political image from being abused. You know, he's being seen as this person who epitomized only recon reconciliation, who was not interested in, in, in addressing poverty, inequality. So we're saying that that's that, that quite a liberal thinking. We don't believe in it, but we're going to allow the family to handle the matter of Matiba. We're going to, to protect as the youth leader. That would be our role, his political image. Then the family can deal with, with his person and the name. Yeah, it is <coughs> opportunistic of, of the DA, and it, we can't blame them. It is uh, electioneering. But before I get to that question, uh, I, I believe we have a caller. Hello to you. And what's your question or comment? Hello? Uh, hi, yes, we're listening. I'm glad in you. I'm good, thank you. What's your question or comment? No, actually, uh, my question is that when the DA did realize that Mandela is very much important, because what I do understand, they are using uh, my money as a forefront right now. In actual fact, what I'm trying to say, they are trying to be diplomatic. They are using this thing of Nelson Mandela in order to weaken the, the ruling party, which is the ANC. Actually, the white people will never like the black people in the first place. Right now, what I'm trying to say is that just have a look on its way to 1976. There is no one amongst the black people, um, amongst the black, I mean the uh, white people right now that, who are still living, commenting about those issues that more especially those people were, were, were marching peacefully to the uh, Orlando Stadium. And then they were, they were brutally killed just because they were, they were not uh, interested in the, uh, many using Africans as a, as a language at the uh, school Jonas, level. Jonas, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to, or rather to let you go, but thanks. We get the point. Uh, just, uh, Professor Guto, when it comes to the uh, evolution of the South African voter, it's been, what, 22 years uh, that we've been enjoying democracy, that even when these things play out, we have an intellectual conversation about it, it may not necessarily sway votes in, in favor of the DA. In fact, as you heard, Jonas is, is repulsed by the, the idea of having Mandela in the air of the DA? Well, I don't think that it will help the ANC, the DA, or the EFF that have claimed that uh, the ANC has departed from the Freedom Charter and they're the party that are promoting the Freedom Charter. So I think it's very, very important for us here to be able to say, let us debate in a way that helps people to make their mind as they go to the elections. So I can't predict whether it is going to be positive for one party or the other. Uh, all I can say is the debate is very important for us to have so that people understand the history, the meaning of Mandela, the role he played. Uh, he was not the only person who led you know, South Africa to liberation. The women of 1950s, the youth of the 70s, uh, there are so many streams that really fed and the international community that actually revere Mandela played a major role in the liberation of South Africa. So for the ANC to have this narrow idea that it is the liberator of South Africa, I think is rather narrow nationalism and I think they should think out of that. But lastly, I would just like to say that uh, Mandela is an icon with contradictory messages. There are many who think that he sold the country to the neoliberal, neo-colonial paradigm, and that is where we are going at the moment. There are those who think that there have been a lot of breakthroughs that we need to build on to change South Africa. So I would say, yes, Mandela will remain controversial, uh, but at the same time, an icon. All right, let's take a reaction. Deputy Defense Minister Kebi Mapadzwe joins us. Uh, thank you so much for being with us. And what's your, your understanding? What do you make of the nuances and the connotations of this particular advert that's uh, got a lot of us talking around uh, the DA using Madiba in their electioneering campaign? It is, it is wrong for the DA and it's opportunistic 
for the DA to use our first commander in chief of Mkondo versus uh, as a campaign. Look, what we know for a fact is that Mandela is Mandela because of the African National Congress. Mandela is Mandela because of Umkonto Vesizwe. So uh, it's very disappointing to get a whole professor there, not understanding the history of the African National Congress, not understanding the role of Nelson Mandela in the liberation struggle. What is he teaching our young people in, in, at school? So what we are trying to say at MKMV is that the DA, it is wrong to use the name of Nelson Mandela for electioneering. The only people who have got a right for the name of Nelson Mandela, it is the family of the Madiba that can use that name. And the African National Congress, and we as of Mkonto as this, because Mandela liberated the struggle, he was arrested by the same people who are members of the Democratic Alliance, and the same people who killed our people who are members of the DA now. Rema Pato, Eri Refila from the DA are Rabetle. Um, Refila. I think it's very sad that the minister misleads South Africa by saying DA members arrested people. He must learn to differentiate what was National Party and what is the Democratic Alliance. It's two very different institutions. In fact, if you remember, if you, DA started with PDP, which is where Helen Sussman was, one of our pioneers. And we, if you remember in her time, was the one woman who stood against apartheid against all odds when she was standing in parliament saying this system is not right. So I think facts must speak for themselves instead of opinions that the ANC want to perpetuate on public platforms. All right, let's get uh, uh, closing arguments there from you, Temikos. No, I think as the youth league want to appeal to the conscience of the DA <clears throat> that uh, they must be confident in their leader, Musima Iman. Actually, this is just a, a, a vote of no confidence in him that uh, they're so desperate looking to use Matiba's voice on a basis that they know that uh, Musi cannot convince the voters to vote with the Hence now they've resolved, uh, uh, resorted into this disparagement. Actually, this is, as I've said, it's a vote of confidence to Musi. Lastly, we believe that uh, if they feel strongly that Helen Susman uh, is, 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 is the person that was close and even know her, her history, she, she was quite relatively progressive, they must then use her. Do you know why they want to use her? It is because of, they know that DA is currently a house of racists. You tell them corner and all that. Now, if you use a person that may be white, then it may lose out on votes. So I was saying that please be confident in your history, be confident in your, in your own leadership. Yes, uh, we just have enough time for Deputy Minister to give us uh, your response as uh, using Nelson Mandela as an anti-apartheid hero and using him for votes. Uh, and uh, this is what a lot of other parties have been doing, EFF including. So what is it that the Mkonto Veterans Association is going to do if there's nothing illegal that DA has been found guilty of? I think it is illegal for the DA to use the name of Nelson Mandela. We will join the family of Nelson Mandela if there is any legal action uh, to be taken against the opportunistic democratic uh, alliance. We want to allow the family space uh, to take legal action against the Democratic Alliance. Our people, they know who Mandela is. They know that Mandela is a, was a member of the African National Congress and they will continue voting the African National Congress. All right. Thank you, Deputy Minister. Is it really sacrilegious politicking, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Professor Guto? The last thing I would say is that let us not forget that the African National Congress uh, swallowed part of the National Party. The Democratic Party swallowed part of the National Party before they became the DA. So the idea that, you know, it's only the DA that is from the past. Uh, you know, the National Party is part of, became part of, part of it became part of the ANC. And those were decisions made within the party. So there has been transformation in our politics, which we need to understand, and we seem not to be discussing them openly enough so that the public know and make decisions on how to vote. 
I promise we'll certainly have you back in studio to discuss this further. And I'm, I'm afraid we're out of time. But thanks indeed for calling in as well. And our esteemed guest in studio, uh, we had Rafilu and Sahe. She's the DA National Spokesperson. Teminkosi Josobo is the ANC Youth League uh, MEC member. And we have Professor Shadra Guto, constitutional law expert on the line. We had Chief Mfundo Buvelengwe, uh, the Abatembo, spokes of, Abatembo King uh, spokesperson. And thanks indeed for taking the time to call in as well. Just